Shelby would be the surrogate mom. He felt very safe and comfortable around her from the start. When we took Levi in, he was actually thought to be terminal, and we thought he might be a phosphorus case. very popularly. No bony back. He was very tiny, very frail, slept almost all the time. It turns out he was just malnourished and smaller than an eight week old kitten. Shelby's 125 pounds and he was a pound and a half. She was just kind of fascinated with him. She was always the one that was most present and the most engaged with them. We were feeding him every couple of hours and a lot of pampering and attention. Okay, we're a little bad, little baby Yoda. Your skin is getting so much better. Oh. We went from this little one and a half pound frail thing to a very vigorous, beautiful, healthy Frenchie puppy. Shelby taught Levi how to play with other dogs, how to get along with other dogs. They play what we call bitey face. When he was biting down, she wouldn't necessarily get up and leave or get a little more rough. She would just put her big head on his body and flatten him just enough to make it so he couldn't bite her for a minute. Shelby's a critical part of the process. They're learning valuable social skills. And Levi went into a home with two pit bulls and it was a very easy transition for him. He's got a really big dog personality and he's not intimidated at all. In the beginning, they really didn't want to have a lot to do with him because he was so tiny. But his huge personality, his unwillingness to admit that he's small, won him over in the end. I think he's brought a whole new perspective into our house. Just with his tenacity and positive attitude, it's hard to even describe how excited he is for everything. What did you do? You stinker! Oh my god! <laughs> you remember your friend? There's just something about him that's so special because he was such a incredibly tough case to begin with. Just to see him growing and thriving when it was never expected was a great thing. <laughs>